Bill f uh, item 4A is Bill 33-19, Police Community Policing, lead sponsors, Council Member Navarro and Rice, co-sponsors Hucker, Albornoz, Jawando and Fritzen. Public hearing is scheduled for January 21st at 7.30 p.m. I want to um, thank my colleague, uh, Council Member uh, Rice, for um, working uh, alongside and the two of us introducing this bill. I want to um, just want to uh, uh, share a little bit of context. Uh, there is no doubt that, that we have had a lot of conversations uh, this year, particularly uh, throughout the process of selecting a new uh, chief uh, for our police department. And uh, there were um, community forums that were held and there was just a lot of conversation about what exactly would we looking for uh, for the next chief of police for our uh, esteemed police department. And uh, coincidentally in one meeting that I held, um, that I had with the leadership of our FOP Lodge 35, one of the things that came up was the notion that in Montgomery County in the past under different administrations, there was a very robust community policing program that was easily identifiable and that everybody understood and everybody was on the same page and felt really good about the outcomes and about that framework. Um, but they observed that that wasn't necessarily the case uh, in recent uh, years and uh, believed that it was something that we needed to strengthen. Um, and it was interesting because I felt like this was one of those win-wins where the community was saying, you know, we need to strengthen our community policing practices. FOP was saying, yeah, we do need to strengthen our community policing uh, practices. Um, and um, even when we had a session with Acting Chief Jones, he acknowledged that we needed to strengthen our community policing practices. Um, so I shared with um, Mr. Cook at, at that meeting that, you know, perhaps we need to then look at this in a very structural way and enshrine this in the code that Montgomery County is a jurisdiction that will uh, basically operate under a community policing framework um, that is well defined and that everybody then understands what the expectations are so that it is not something that perhaps gets implemented sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. Um, and so I want to acknowledge the leadership of, of, of FOP uh, for working uh, with me on this bill. I will acknowledge that there are some particular uh, reporting requirements um, that they felt didn't necessarily need to be included because the, that information is already shared. Um, some of it is already available. Uh, and what I said to them was, you know, once it gets to committee, obviously we will have an opportunity to go through all of this. And if there indeed are some particular uh, areas that are already widely available and we don't need to include in the bill, maybe as part of the regulation, then that is fine. This is how we do our work when it comes to the legislative process. Um, but I do believe that um, this will be, again, a very important component, um, especially as we await the official transmittal of uh, Acting Chief Jones to be uh, considered for confirmation uh, of an appointment. I think this is a really good time for us to be able to clarify what we mean about community policing.